We are now in the auditorium of uh, Goethe Institute uh, because you are going to give a presentation of your work, but uh, what is maybe more interesting is that we are located somewhere in between two venues which hosts your parts of uh, our exhibition called I could have just set it on fire. Um, maybe I would ask you at the beginning to shortly introduce uh, your part of the project and then we can talk about the connections between your work. So I exhibit uh, works in Drdova Gallery where I work with the replicas of the proposal, sculptural proposal for public monument which happened in, at the beginning of the uh, 20th century. My intention was to work with the topic of artist artwork which uh, disappeared. Uh, they are reconstruction of non-existing sculptures and one piece uh, which is installation in the gallery acts as a camera obscura. So there was my intention was to to change the like the closed form of the sculpture into something which penetrates space and to show that the sculpture itself could have a kind of a conscious historical conscious or political conscious because we project the meaning into the object somehow. So there is a, a Bohumil Kafka portrait of Jan Žižka in a life size, which we could see in Vítkov mountain. There is this detailed uh, portrait, which is so high that you really cannot see it. So I try to bring down the face to make it visible in a way and to point that it is kind of a both visible and invisible form. Despite that it has a seven meters of height, it's kind of a form which you really cannot grasp with the eyes. So this is one kind of a line of, of commentary. I'm showing a series of photographs. Not a complete series, but a part of a series. The series is not new, it's from... I started it in 2009, but it's an ongoing project. Um, so from time to time it's growing. And it's a series of photos of my studio space. And what's important that the studio space is empty. So my studio is not empty since 2009, but when I continue to make photographs for the series, I move away all the stuff to have an empty uh, space. And um, I have been showing this series several times, and each time it was a kind of uh, architectural intervention or an intervention in the existing into the existing space and it's the same here in the it's center for contemporary art the, the name, yeah? yes. um, it's not a the space is not a white cube uh, space but it's a it's a former bakery and you can still see the, the the history of the space and the traces of history and this was important for me that's that it's not a white cube space, not a neutral space, but a space that uh, tells a story somehow. And I think the idea is that there's a dialogue between my photographs, between my studio space and the space uh, with the installation. And as I say installation, I did not uh, hang the photographs on the walls of the space, but we added new walls uh, that somehow intervene uh, the existing space. So they're not in a right 90 degrees angle, they're diagonal directions, uh, almost touching the existing columns, uh, the photos are behind the columns, so there's a uh, true confrontation of the photographs and the uh, space. And the original space. I think the architectural intervention is uh, in a form something which connects these two shows, but mainly uh, what should be talked about is the studio practice or reference to studio practice which is present in both of your parts of the exhibition. So maybe can you um, explain a bit uh, how do you see this connection in regards to the studio practice? For me, uh, at Florian's work it's interesting this absence of the result of the artistic activity like that there is this frame like there is this architecture which hosts the artist and hosts the, 
the crafts, but there is absence of, of the artifacts. So that is something, and this strategy somehow uh, for me uh, shift the focus of a viewer mm. from from an object to a context more. So there mm. is there is the as you said the story of a bakery, but there is a story of your studio also present in the yeah, yeah. Uh, in a, in a kind of a sober way. But this absence of of, uh, of artifacts also tells. Tells the story about how how you think and where you work, and so. Mm. And for me, uh, when I found those photographs of of the unrealized uh, objects, monuments, I was somehow provoked to to realize them because I I felt like those forms should uh, appear again in in uh, in an artwork or mm. somewhere. So. So these are the, on, on the contrary, I'm working with the artifacts which, which are absent in reality because they, they were destroyed. But I'm somehow putting them back and I hope that I, with this act, I'm somehow showing at, at, uh, at the context of how the like, public art forms are erected and destroyed. So this is the frame which I try to somehow uh, focus. Yeah, this duality between presence and absence is maybe really important also in, uh, in this series of photographs and something which is actually not visible on the series uh, itself because you don't see the process, you don't see something which is behind the lenses of the camera mm. and that's what I find actually about the series probably as the most interesting element that you have this performative uh, event happening that you are always removing things mm -hmm. from your front view and putting it behind the camera mm -hmm. which is kind of opposite process than you are actually doing mm -hmm. yeah. and I although I'm working in a very different way kind of opulent that I, I always create uh, objects I respect uh, Florian's attitude which is on the contrary, he's uh, very efficient with the, with the acts and intervention. So he's not like producing quantum of new uh, plastic objects or something, but rather you are somehow yeah, rearranging so them. Mm -hmm. And <laughs> with this rearrangement, you create a new context, how they are observed. So this is for me a very interesting strategy, which I always like and also uh, that's why I, I, mm -hmm. a few years ago we, we tried to discuss about some project because I was uh, really uh, impressed by this uh, uh, constant and pure strategy you are working with. Mm -hmm. But you mentioned this um, process of moving the mm -hmm. stuff behind the camera lens and when I thought about the series I never thought about this. Mm -hmm performative thing. For me it was always important to... So there's an older series where I made a complete inventory of all my belongings. So for me it was important that it's complete, so that I have an overview. And I think this series, there was the idea to have an inventory of the rooms and to have uh, no objects on the images, but mm. just empty rooms. So it was like the, the idea was to have a kind of counterweight to this other series. And of course what's important, in, I think an important thing in my work is to work with uh, things that are already there. So mm. I used all my belongings, I didn't buy new to make photographs, but I used the belongings that were there and now I used the rooms that were there and did not look for special rooms to take photos of, but I just used my rooms. But when you were talking about it before, you also mentioned that you actually spent considerable amount of time in the studio itself without really leaving it and uh, working continuously on this project, similarly as uh, any project with those hotel rooms. Yeah. So that's also probably another layer of this uh, mm -hmm. thing which I would call this performative element. So for me it was important to be somehow independent, so I uh, did not only do the photographs in the studio, but I also developed the films and made the prints, or mm. at least the small formats of the prints. 
So there was the idea that I could lock myself inside the studio. Of course, I need enough uh, food and uh, maybe photo material. Mm -hmm. But the idea was to do something that is completely um, yeah, independent. Mm -hmm. And this is a parallel to the works in the hotel rooms, of course, because there's also, of course, I'm going to a city, maybe to uh, Trieste or to Genova to make the work, but I don't go outside, I lock myself in the, mm. in the hotel room to do the sculpture there or the installation.